full of ego. Full of ego. Oh yeah, full of ego. Full of ego. Just like Marvel. Full of ego. Full of ego. Full of ego. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Let's Talk Chinese podcast. The best podcast in my mind. A little bit different, except not different, because this is technically our second time recording this video, this podcast, this episode. Last week, or last episode, you saw the super epic announcement. Uh, this stuff happened. Yay! Mics were unplugged the entire the entire time. Woo. Not really anyone's fault. Mostly my fault. But it ended up probably was for the best. I yelled about how Taylor Swift just sucks. Anyways, fight me. Welcome back. To the last talk today's podcast, the best podcast in my mind. I am Tendi. That is Sav. We are back once again. I believe this is like episode 15, 16, something like that. Roughly. Give or take. I can check that real speedy quick. But as I check that, we can roll right into the intro. <laughs> And we're back, because I'm going to cut right as soon as you go the other way. We are on episode, this is episode 15, is what we are on. Last Episode 15. Episode 15. 15 whole episodes. Think about that. What? That is you moving the thing. <laughs> I just saw the cords moving. I got scared for my life. This camera, by the way, is the one I got off Timu, and I'm still trying to figure out how to get it to work properly. It'll work well, so deal with it. It's I, working fine, I think. It, for a podcast camera that sits here and basically sits in my basement until I need it, it's good enough. So, anything you want to say before we get into it? Anything in the mind of, in, in the savvy mind? <clears throat> they look at me and wonder what's going on inside my head. <laughs> Crickets. <laughs> Do you want to shout out something you just made recently? No. I recently made an animation on my channel. Um, it's also on my TikTok, which is, if you search up uh, Cringe is my name, you may find it. If not, you probably won't. Um, yeah, and I also posted on my YouTube channel, which I was pretty proud of because it's my first animation like real animation because like before I made um what was it gotcha animations and shit like that but this one was hand drawn took me too long for an 18 second video but that's besides the point I also deleted a bunch of footage originally so there you go that's what I was getting at the entire time because it's it's good it's good okay oh, thank well you. I wasn't going to... It's, it's a good platform. Talk about it. If there's something to talk about, you can talk about it. Something you do. Do it. You do you. So, this episode, just like last episode that was hidden in my archives footage, we have a wheel. Which is really amazing. I think you made that exact same joke the last time, too. I probably did, because I really like it. And he's going to really kill me. <laughs> wee wee. Um, so, we have a bunch of topics on here. Uh, excluding the ones we talked about last time, which were Disney adults. I concluded that... Disney adults are weird. They're weird. I concluded that Disney adults are Disney adults, and it does not matter. Uh, and then... Oh, I... Wait, speak? Hello? It might be coming. Ah, okay. Oh, I'm gonna move this because I don't know if it's coming up through there. And we also talked about uh, TikTok songs or songs that are ruined by TikTok. And we got into I got into a rant about Taylor Swift and how her fans are annoying and how her music sucks. So we're not gonna get back into that. 
No, because that'll cause another big argument. Yeah. It was a great argument, don't worry. So, it would have been super entertaining if you all saw it, but we, nope. We have eight topics. I'm not going to show you. We're just going to get right into it before we get into it. Subscribe. Cool. Bet. We're spinning. Da, 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 da. Make sure to tell <laughs> yeah. your different ideas on what you want us to talk about as well in the next video. Yeah, if you guys have topics you want us to talk about, throw it down in the comments, uh, Spotify or YouTube or both. This first topic, I don't know what we're getting into. I don't know how many we're going to get through. Have you noticed that the quality of food at different restaurants have severely decreased? Yeah. And the only reason that I wrote this one down is because I think we went to... Montana's? No, I think we went to Tim's. Tim's. Oh, Tim Hortons. Tim's has gotten worse. Shout out to Canadians. No, it's American now. Shout out to Americans. <laughs> no, so Tim Hortons, their food has gotten exponentially worse. Their donuts, which are goaded, were goaded are now not being made in-house. They're getting shipped out frozen and then just getting, like, dipped and thrown onto the thing. Oh. They're not baked in store, which is what they used to be back before they were bought out by the parent company that also owns, like, Burger King. Well, like, it was, like, when they got rid of the, the like, strawberry lemonade and, like... Yeah, when they got rid... I think once they got rid of that, like, double oval logo... And they went to that just the word, and it became corporate. Well, yeah, that's where it started going downhill. I I just don't I don't understand why everything had to like even their cheese croissants, which was one of my favorite things, now just tastes so plain. It's money, but like in it, it's pure money. I they know. make so much. They can make so much more money if they don't spend more money on people actually knowing how to bake a proper croissant. The only good thing they still have are their ice caps. I'll stand by that. Their donuts have gotten worse. Their cookies have gotten smaller. Their coffee has gotten worse. Tim Hortons doesn't own Tim Hortons coffee anymore. The same brand, the same coffee beans they used to use. You want to know who's, who go owns that now? McDonald's. Right, you mentioned that. So, if you want a cup of Tim Hortons coffee, go to McDonald's. Which says a lot. Even McDonald's. Actually, I think they've been getting better. A mm, little bit. I don't know. I, well, I can't really attest to that because when I was a kid, I didn't have a lot of McDonald's or, like, fast food in general. I had a lot of Tim Hortons because um, I would go on, like, trips a lot. Like, like um, we'd kind of just go driving a lot, me and my family. But, um, yeah, McDonald's was never really a big thing, because my mom, like, is a super healthy person, whatever, which is not a bad thing at all, but just meant that we had to be healthy, too. <laughs> I'm happy about it now, but as a kid, I probably would have been mad. <laughs> but no, like, I just can't attest to it. Like, I don't really remember like a lot about it. McDonald's now within itself, it's decent. I think you go to McDonald's, you know what you're expecting. On the rare time you might get Unless you're uh, Sabrina Carpenter. What happened with her? Oh, have you I don't think seen I've this heard video? Well she was doing like um uh which is better American food or like British food, something like that, and she said she'd never had McDonald's because she was saving it for a special occasion, for if she like won something big or did something big, she wanted to do you, eat McDonald's for a special occasion. That's pretty valid. Yeah. Kind of. I can't even be mad at that. It's kind of. But smart. Oh. Oh, here oh. comes Sadie, back again. Guess who's back? Waddling through, wondering back why we're at again. the table in front of a camera. And now she's just going <laughs> to waddle right over to Sav, try to get her attention. Last time, I think she just kept barking. 
Yes, she did. Yeah. So, quality of food, many places have gotten worse. Another example, I think, well, you brought up Montana's. Montana's, yes. You want to give that story? Um. I can give my story. Hello. Um. I had um, loved this their mac and cheese because it was uh, cheesy bacon mac and cheese, and me and my twin sister had it every time we'd go there. It was like a special tradition type thing, and then they stopped making it, and it just became like this really watered down version of it. There wasn't a lot of cheese. It kind of was just whatever, and. I know for some that's good, but for me it was not. And I was so sad because then it also started making me sick too. The only time I ever got like any sort of like food poisoning. And for some reason I couldn't tell you why. It just started making me feel so sick. Like no tomorrow. Well, is they used to have, I still technically do. But it was a, like, it's called, like, the Canada Burger or something like that. So it was the one that I got when we were out with your coworkers. And it was, it's like a burger with cheese and female, and it had this, like, apple butter barbecue sauce, which I loved. But it, they changed it, and it wasn't as good. And then I'm like, can I get nothing on it except the cheese and the female and the, the apple butter barbecue sauce? And it came out, and it was drenched in it. Like, you would have expected them to just to go, like, right into a vat a <laughs> barbecue sauce. Right? Pure vat of acid full of barbecue sauce. But it's, it's like, I think the only place that hasn't gotten worse when it comes to the quality of their food has been Wendy's. They kind of just stay the same, in my opinion. Even the price—I don't even think the price has gone up. A whole lot. A no. whole lot since. I think actually it's kind of level. I think it was usually a little bit more expensive. Now it's leveled out a little bit because everything else has gotten so expensive. But GG Wendy's. GG Wendy's. I think I would much rather have a Wendy's burger than anywhere else. That's coming from like. Their fries are great. Fries I'm not really goated. a fries person either. So. Pure goat. The Coke freestyle is insane. More companies need to adapt. The Coke freestyle. All the fancy flavors. Pure goats. Pure goats. Okay. Let's change it up. We seem to go through this topic. There, it was... I had more to talk about it when I first wrote it down. Maybe like a month ago. I think that's... Oh. because We had, again, going back to Tim's. They're grilled cheese. The last time I had it, it was it used to be like huge. And it's not me getting like, you know, me being a growing boy or anything. They literally just got like the two smallest slices of bread and charged me $7 for it. It also it used to not be $7. No. It was like five, maybe less. And then all of a sudden it became $7. If I wanted that, I could literally make my own grilled cheese for more, for like less. Or go to Williams like we did. Yes, which and is delicious. Pure goaded grilled cheese. All right, another spin. Ooh. Ooh. This is what I wrote. I think this actually came from the Yappy Hour podcast, and they were talking about it a little bit, but I wanted to get your opinion on it. Would you say you're a car person? Car person. Car person. What do you mean? Do you think you like you like cars? You know a little bit about cars. Go vroom vroom. <laughs> well, I like the look of cars mostly, but other than that, I don't know too much. I wouldn't say I'm a car person, no, because that would be. Right. Do you think this is the question? Do you think electric cars should completely take over gas-powered cars? I know my answer, but I want your take on it. Uh, 
No. I don't think so. Because both are bad for the environment. Like, the bo neither of them are good for the environment. People think that electric is better. It's not. No. Um, not only that, there has been times where they have literally burst into flames. They power down quickly, just as easy as your iPhone would. And, like, in hot summers right. and stuff, and, like, cold winters. And especially in Canada, like... You can only imagine, because our, the heat's always up or the cold's always down. Like, it's never in the middle. Right. So. Maybe, like, two weeks every couple months. Exactly. So, it's, like, I don't, I don't think we should only stick to it. Like, it's good to have at some points. But other than that, I don't think either of it's good. So, you're right. Here, here's, I, I'm, I'm saying no. And you're right about them both being worse. Here's the one thing that the oh, guy, sorry, the demon has been expelled from you. The one thing that the guys oh, at the App Era podcast did ask, or they did talk about, in an electric car, you have your battery and your like motor. To turn the wheels. Once you lose a little bit of that battery, the car gets progressively worse. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Once you lose the battery entirely, the car is worth nothing. That's what I mean. In a gasoline car, if you blow an engine, you can always replace the engine. Yeah. So, with everyone going, oh, this, that, electric cars, better than gasoline cars, Canada passing a law where they're going to... I think they passed a law where electric cars are going to be... Mandatory. mandatory in the next bunch of years it's going to be hilarious when they say that and come when everyone has an electric car how many times you're gonna to have to cycle through every two three years four or five however well, many years depending saying. on how much you drive that's what i'm saying it's basically like an iphone it is like it, it progressively gets worse over time but another thing do you know Roughly in our city, how many electric car chargers there are? No. I believe there's one. I think there's two. Is there? Because I know two. there's the one down by the Toys R Us on the south end. There's one right here. Like down. Is there? When you walk from my house, like from my work to like my house, if you were to walk, it's that. that oh, is there one there? The, yeah, it's a, it, there's a car wash with it. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. That's was what, what that's what that is. Oh, I thought that was just a, what. Anyways, no. there's two electric. There's two. Yeah. Now, where's the next one? Toronto, which is an hour drive. Yeah. How long is an electric car going to last you in an hour? You with an electric? Yeah. You get all with the Tesla, right? You get all the fancy gizmos. You can change the horn to become a fart. Okay. Haha. -ha, really funny. You can play video games on the big screen, whoop de doo But if you're actually trying to get anywhere, and there's not a charger anywhere, or you didn't charge at home, or you don't have seven grand to charge to build a charging station at your home. Well, I was going to say, think about it like this. Not only would you have to replace it a bunch, think about it as how long... For instance, did my dad's car last? For those who don't know, he had an old... An old, um... Oh my god, why Cadillac. Cadillac. Yeah, he old, had old Cadillac. Old old Cadillac, like a it was 60s. Like, 70s. 80s? 40s. 40s. 1940s. 1940 Cadillac. When did it get into its little, little bumperoo? Um, uh, maybe like two, three years ago. 20... 20... We'll say 2020. Around 2020, would you say? Roughly. Roughly. So. I lied, it's 1950, but still, 1950. regardless. So, that is 70 years? Yeah. A Tesla could dream to last maybe seven years. It is, and you were 100% right with the battery on your phone. How many times do people replace the batteries on their phone? Because the phone, nothing's wrong with the phone, but they just can't hold the charge. My brother's phone. Was, well, I think it was his old phone maybe 
We had to replace the battery on his. No, my phone was great. The, not this one, but the one I had before. Mm. But it wouldn't hold a charge. So I had to get a new one. So, and then let's say it gets into a crash. You can't use the battery anymore. What are they going to do with the battery? You can't use it in a different car. You can't break it down and use its parts for something else. Well, plus they burst into flames real quick. There's been, like, proof of it, too. Do you know how much... To get the lithium that goes into the electric car batteries, do you know how much, like, CO2 is emitted from them actually mining the lithium? More than a gasoline car. Well, yeah, as, as bad as gasoline is, so, like, so is electric, 100%. It is so bad for the environment, every little bit of it. Honestly, people, carpool or walk... It's like Uber's a thing. No, but it's... A bike. If you have a car... Larry. You know Larry. You've met Larry. I met Larry. We love Larry. He's awesome. He has a hybrid. His electric part of it maybe lost him down towards 40 kilometers down the highway. Mm-hmm. And the rest is gas. It's great to have. Yeah, it saves the environment for the first... 20 minutes you use it but then you can't use it how much or what how much co2 does it make to actually get that energy to power the car there's so much like if you look at an electric car from okay it's a car that runs off a battery there's no co2 coming from the car that's great but once you take a bigger wider look at everything that goes into making it suddenly it's not that good of an idea Again, if you're looking at getting a Tesla because it's electric, look at getting a car, a real car, something with a gas engine. It might be cheaper to fill up your ga- your your electric car until you can't go anywhere because you forgot to charge it. Well, yeah. How, like, if you got stuck in the middle of nowhere... Put in neutral and put... Actually, I don't even think they have, like, a gear shifter. No, what I'm saying is... <laughs> If you get stuck in the middle of nowhere, if you have like a like a gas canister in your back, you can always fill it up if you have like a mm-hmm. a gas car. But then the second you have like an electric car, how are you going to power that back up? If you were to get stuck in the middle of the desert, what's your best chance? Like one of the funniest part is it, you going back to the. Like, I, I'm ge- you're right. No, you're hundred percent. You're 100% right. You can't charge. You're going to plug in your phone to your charging port? I think... I I don't own an electric car. But I think it's kind of the same thing as a phone. Once it hits 0% battery, it shuts off. And then it takes 2% battery to recharge. Like, to actually turn back on. Gas car, you run out of gas. You fill it up a little bit. You can start it right away. There's no, like, buffering period for it to restart and rerun and... Anyone who has an electric car, this is a genuine question. Like, if you were to get stuck in the middle of nowhere, how do you feel? Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? How are you doing? What are you doing? If you get stuck in the middle of the road, what are you doing? Middle of the road. I don't know why you're asking me that. I don't know. Ask them. If you get stuck in the middle of the road, what are you doing? But it's... You... It's one of those things... The concept is the right idea. The concept of a car that doesn't use a lot use of a lot of energy, whatever. It, it, the idea is there, but the execution going into it ruins the entire thing. I think when we get to the point where gas cars are now banned from the road, you're going to see a lot of people just not drive. And then guess what? Companies will be so fit. Oh my gosh. Companies are going to lose out on a bunch of money because nobody's buying electric cars. Yeah, government's of losing dollars. out. The government is losing out on a bunch of money because they government buys gasoline and if nobody's using gasoline, government sells gasoline to other states to then re to put it through and like clean it I basically. I don't think they would do it. 
once you realize once they realize how much money they're losing they're, they'll cut it back i don't think they're gonna do it i don't I no, think do it see what happens government do it and this is how you die yeah <laughs> do it <laughs> but it's you, you stupid i think i don't think they would do it because the, you're right the amount of like the economy would shut down so quickly I don't know. The w- <laughs> I can hear my brother. The world will go to heck. The world will go to heck. Darn, We're totally recording. Darn day. Just leave them there. Thank you. We got new shoes. You want to see the shoes? Live unboxing. Sure. Live unboxing. <laughs> Live unboxing. <laughs> Two pairs of shoes. One for me, one for you. That's for you. Oh, you got me shoes. My mother got us. Shoes. She got me shoes. Costco. I didn't. Why'd she give me shoes? Great question. All right. I didn't need new shoes. I'm happy to have new do shoes. You wanna, I didn't do you want to? Do you want to do yours first? Sure. Responsible looks good on you. Thank you. I know. Probably the most responsible person. Definitely not the guy sitting next to me or anything. Oh, look how cute they are. Look at them. Look how cute they are. So here we have the white, the Puma ladies white court shoes. All white, triple white. Triple white. Triple white, size six. If you want to send us some shoes, she's a size six. Five and a half, sometimes. Yeah, I know. We can try the, nice. We can try them on after. All right. Next up, we got Adidas Court well, I Beats. Like no, you get no box. Adidas Court Beats. Oh, I like the. I have been looking for a pair of white shoes since my birth. Here we have. Oh, the thing I don't type. We have white shoes, gone bottoms. We got black Adidas stripes, blue little swipe in the back, and a red heel. He's actually a cook. I will. I've actually been looking for white shoes for the longest time. These will fit in so many outfits. We will have to thank my mother when we go back upstairs. The difference between you and I? Oh, yeah. Small feet, small socks. Big feet, big socks. All right. Spinning again. That's what you got out of that. What? I can go first on this one. I'll let you give you time to think, but I'll ask you the question. Our podcast. We have a podcast. What would you want the dream set to look like? I can go first the on this dream one. Set. What would you want the dream set of our podcast to look like? I can go first if you would like me to go first so you can think. I, the dream Let's Talk Tendy set. First off, there's two sets. We have a like talk show couch set with mics that won't unplug. And we have a table set like this. So... Both sets have the choice of we, we can have a more open conversation between people or we can have more of a business talk interview between people. Basically, both will have like an LED background with a moving image of our logo, of the logo. Basically just saying, let's talk to Andy's on it. And you know, fancy mics, whatever, fancy cameras. But it's the idea that a guest can come in and they can choose would they rather have a sit down interview at a table and be you know interviewed like this or would they rather have a sit down interview on a couch and be a little more comfortable with a little bit more of a conversation mm-hmm. it's it's something that you know i would love to do i think inviting people over to my parents house mm-hmm. to come down to their basement and record a podcast is a little weird shout out jonah you're weird um but something like this 
can set up a couple microphones. We have another spot for another mic. If someone wants to sit here, we can interview them. Riley, we can bring people over to talk. We got the couch over there. We can bring a chair. There's so many options that we can do. And then we can get rid of the, the border around here with the words on the bottom and... So, like, the dream setup. Dream setup. What would, if you had a choice or your input on what you would want this podcast to look like? I think I would want, like, a black or white, like, background type thing. Right. With... Like, I don't know, like, specific people who come in have their own specific type of color. So they get to, like, so you would wear, like, a dark blue or something. And, oh. and I'd wear, like, a pink. And then, basically, there would be different little sections of the, the like, the room. So it would be a big room with, like black background and white table or white like black table and white background right and then you'd have your mics and your specific color sets and huh. basically you'd have that little area look like your color and there would be an area for like a green screen and an area where you could stand around and there would be a big tv where you could like point out like cool things it's like or play games or this or that just to enjoy like somebody's company almost like and then the couch so that like so it's kind of a like a multi-use content studio yeah huh exactly i don't think we could do it in the basement but you know i like the idea well you said dream i didn't I know, say I know. you didn't say where you didn't say no how. that's no like in a like you buy a warehouse mm -hmm. and you split it up into different rooms that's I like that. It doesn't have to be too big, just enough space to have a bunch of people and rooms. That's different no. type of room, like a, like like even just one room with like different sections almost. No, I like that. That's actually really smart. Damn, that kind of puts mine to shame. Damn, that puts mine to shame. How long are we at right now? We are at 30 minutes. We can do one more. <laughs> this might be the shortest. Sorry, guys. No, honestly, I think we just, like... The topics were just kind of, They guess, were, They were better... In your brain. In my brain. I think they're... I need to... Plus, I, by the way, if my studio had a... Would have a bunch of stuffies on the couches, just saying. <sighs> oh, my God, everyone gets their own stuffy of themselves. But I like the, I, my favorite part, I think, of that idea would be the color idea. Yeah. And, like, you could have, like, almost, like, LEDs underneath your chairs and stuff of that color. So that's why with the black and the white it works so well because then it's shining any way regardless. That's so cool. We should do that. I think my mom will get mad if we put LEDs on the, underneath her chair. Maybe. No, that's impossible. Yeah, like, for you, again, it would be, like, blue. I'd be pink. Uh, name another YouTuber friend we had. Dom would be red. Red, then Emma would Probably be... Probably purple. Yeah, purpley or like... Or yeah. if she took pink, then you would be yellow. Yeah. It's my camp color. It's yellow. I'm actually kind of mad. I love that. I'm mad. This is my first time telling Boy, her that. Why would that be a converse... It's a conversation for another day, but the reason he hates yellow... I'm so... I hate it so much. Okay. Make sure to comment yellow in the description below. I will drop kick every single person that comments. comments that. I will comment it myself. Don't worry, guys. I got your back. Listen, he doesn't have to see you guys all the time. He has to see me. So if I end up dead, you know why. <laughs> Listen, that, that's also a haha -ha funnies because if Sadie. I end up dead, it was not him. I, he would never. No. Okay. Just in case. I accidentally spunt our last topic. Oh. Any dream clothing that you've always wanted? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Dream clothing. I dream guest on my podcast? I don't know. Let's mix this up a little. <laughs> my exes. 
What am I X? Sure, he was actually snorts crack before anyway, he um, my 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 dream outfit choices would probably. I am <laughs> super into like uh, like the eighteen hundreds and stuff, and like. Let's go. I I love. Let's go. Like, like the um. The queen look, or like the princess look, like with the big poofy dresses and the corsets and uh, the cute flower, like the not flower, uh, cute bows in the hair and stuff like that. My my dream outfit would probably be like a big, like almost either light blue or f- or pink, like flowy dress. Think Cinderella almost. You are That's totally uh, going to other than one up mine. Just a pair of Jordan ones. <laughs> I only thought about that because I saw a pair of Jordan ones, and I'm like, oh, I really want them. And I'm like, oh, that'd be a great topic. No, it's you have. <laughs> I think you like that era, though. Yes, yes, I do. And I like I'm the, like, I like. Don't get me wrong, you know. Burn the witches, not great. Um, oh, doesn't help that I'm a twin. I probably would have died real fast. But um, I think I like the romance and like, like I know it probably would have been a harder time, especially with like plagues and stuff as well. <laughs> you know, not just dodge the plague. No modern medicine. Well, yeah, our dodge ancestors it. did it. Just dodge it. Like, it's not that hard. Just don't get it. Don't contract it. <laughs> um. You got it? Just get rid of it. Like. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Um, got it. You caught a cold? Release it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, next time he gets sick, I don't want to hear any boohooing. You will hear all the boohooing. Anyway, I like, I like, the, I like the romance and stuff, but, um, if it's from, like, if, if you mean simpler? Oh, no, it's just whatever you wanted. Oh, I really want, like, I used to have these really cute white shoes with, like, a rainbow on the back of it, and I loved it. And it was, like, on the bottom and, like, the front, and it went all the way around the shoe. And then the rest of it was white. I miss those shoes. Oh, I remember them. They're so yeah. nice. <sighs> I can't wear them. I couldn't wear them anymore. They got holes in the bottom. They're really cheap, but... They were my favorite shoes, and I had them for so long. Even when there was holes in the bottom. Um, you let it slide a couple times. You're like, we're good. <laughs> I, I, I learned to appreciate everything I have. So, like, there are a few shoes I own that may or may not have holes in them, including the ones I wore today. So it's kind of good that I got new shoes, but, like... And it I, fits in perfectly. <laughs> I've learned to appreciate everything I have, because, like... You know, whatever. But, um... My clothes, there's a hole in it. <laughs> I'll, I'll fix it up. We'll get through it eventually. I'm pretty good at that. It's okay. We'll get through it. It's okay. We'll survive. Well, yeah, that's why I'm here. <laughs> I think I've, I've always wanted a pair of Jordans, like Jordan ones. Mhm. Don't I don't know why, but like either the classic like. They're called Chicago's, but, like, the red, black, and white ones. Or, like, a custom, like... Somebody watching this can be like, hey, guess what? <laughs> oh, no, they 100% will. Or, like, a custom, like, navy, white, and gold one to match my channel. Which is funny, too, because I got those those rock shoes, like, from Under Armour. And they're navy, gold, and white. That's the only reason I bought them is because they match... Well, they're on sale. But they match, match the, the channel. channel. Gotcha. Interesting. Yeah, that's the only reason. But no, Very I think Very exciting. I think my answer. You had like some like emotional connection to it, like you know, I've always loved my I I just like the shoes cuz they look cool. <laughs> that's the difference between our personalities oh, yeah, regularly. <laughs> it's we write an essay. What do you think about this topic? I will go full out. It was good. It was extravagant, this amazing, amazing time. And then he sits there and he's like, it it, It it was okay. It it made me giggle. It was mid. That's usually how our conversations about, like, movies and stuff go. We just watched a movie. Uh, Oh, my God, what was it called? She's Out of My League. She's Out of My League. With Jay Burchell. And 
it was pretty good. Pretty funny. Made me chuckle. I liked it a lot. I liked, um, I guess the concept. It's interesting, especially considering, um, I don't think it's 100% realistic. Really? Okay, yeah, I know it's a comedy, and it's supposed to not be realistic, but, like, I think that a lot of people are very materialistic these days. Yeah. No, but... (laughs) But thank you. But they wouldn't stop a plane from taking off by some guy with a giant wrench walking out, (laughs) and nobody knows that it was them. I like the love story. It's sweet. Um, I like Jay Burchell. It is funny, actually. Not my my cup of hum like my cup of tea for like humor and stuff. Cause I'm 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 very hard to make laugh. Very hard to make laugh. It depends. I make you laugh. Yeah, it's hard to make me laugh. <laughs> for the nerds, it is. I made you laugh. Look, see? It's not that hard. No, um... Anyways. What is it? Um, I, I've done so, so many, like, try not to laugh, and it's so easy for me. The only thing that ever gets me is cat videos, or, like, dog videos, or, like, Children animal. falling. No, those don't get me. I feel no, bad no. more so... It's always a little hairy. <laughs> like, animal videos. Anything to do with an animal kills me that's actually all i've been getting on my tiktok feed makes sense have been animal but it's like a guy voicing over as like the guy behind the camera yes i love it and i send them to you it's see that's what my, so my, stupid that but are, so I, funny you know you wouldn't get this from me or anything <laughs> but like dark humor <clears throat> um i love dark humor i always have and it gets me into a lot of trouble sometimes <laughs> But I have a lot of dark humor. You did rhyme cancer with dancer. <laughs> Don't tell people that. I made my whole class laugh, okay? Mm-hmm. You also made probably a couple people concerned with that one. I got, like, it, was I, I was one. rapping and then got, su- like, I was rapping and then it got super quiet, super fast because, because what was it? And then I just went, I have cancer. And then everybody <laughs> went so quiet and I'm like, and then everybody started dying of laughter and I was just sitting there and I, I didn't know what to do and then I, because I wasn't expecting to make anybody laugh I, don't know. I, like I wasn't one of the funnier ones I don't think in that class to be fair <laughs> but no, I think that just caught a lot of us off guard <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to think has there been any time I don't know, I'm trying to think back to high school. Trying just to in drama, where it's just there's been something, something that has made everyone laugh. Like who made did something laugh. that made everyone laugh? I don't know. Owen, Chris, and Kyle were all pretty good. They were hilarious. You know, I work with Owen. Hattie was funny. Hattie was hilarious. And um, um, funny. I work with Owen. I knew Not that. I, I knew that. The same location, I, I but knew that. He never did drama until grade eleven. He oh, skipped out on the first. His first drama year was in was online during COVID. Never did drama before that. Right. Good job. If Owen. you if you ever end up meeting in your life, Owen, you'll know it's Owen. <laughs> Hilarious dude, like genuinely just funny. For no reason. There's a lot of per- there's a lot of people that I know that are actually just genuine. Somebody who shares my humor would be um would be Dom. Hundred percent. Dom has my humor. There's down a difference to- between you and Dom though. Dom is n- not afraid to say it, <laughs> which is oh yeah. It uh, made me do a lot of editing. Most of my there's humor of is like well, cause like okay, not to like toot my own horn or anything, like. I'm super, like, sweet and quiet and, like, innocent, whatever. But most times I have, like, the darkest humor in the middle of, like, nowhere. I'll just sit there for a while and think about it. And then I'll just <laughs> say it. And then people, 
automatically burst out laughing because they don't expect me to say it. No. I'm pretty, I, like, surprisingly enough, I'm one of the tamer ones of my friends out of all my friends that I've ever had. I've been super tame. <laughs> that says a lot. Says something. I'm trying to think, who else in that, like, grade 12 drama class, or even all the drama, just genuinely made people laugh off of the dumbest things? <laughs> Oh, I can't remember his name, but I remember his face. Hold on, I'll Mike. Like the Mike Russian was dude. pretty funny. Mike was a. Oh, she's hilarious. He's selling like properties in. Oh my gosh, he's so now. smart too. He's a genius. I, love I Mike. like. I, I think I heard poems or something he wrote Just or whatever. Mike. He's, he's awesome. so smart. Uh, uh, no, I was looking at a picture from um, our prom a few years ago, two years ago, in two days. <laughs> From Sorry. when this was recorded. Just had to be specific. I'm sure. Um, give me a second. Um, um, here it is. I have it. I have it. All the people who went into our glass. <laughs> Not all of them, but uh, a good chunk of them. Who are you looking at? This guy right there. <laughs> Oh, I roughly know who you're talking about. I know. Yeah, he was kind of funny. He was hilarious. Oh my god, I totally. Him and Hattie were like a, like the comedic duo, though. Who was funny, or who wasn't funny that you thought, or who wasn't funny, I'm not but tell who I I could to say. I totally could say, and we know them too. I do not want to say. I totally could say it, and we know him. We're not doing that. I totally could say it, and we know I him. I do not want to. It's not Dom. Drama. Dom is super funny. Dom I, legitimately just has stupid humor, and that's what makes it funny. It's my it's my favorite humor. But oh, I think don't, always don't thought. Don't tell people. Dom. I don't care. I don't. I What's don't. he gonna do? What you gonna do, brother? But. He always thought he was funny. Especially when it came to that. Basically, uh, there's a huge thing going on in the world. And he picked a side that was against a bunch of people's... Morals. Morals. And then the people who... Were and then I think basically the entire class. It was the same day you presented too. Yes, it was. It was after me. It was after, and basically he did a whole thing. the The project was find a what was it? Tragedy. Talk about it was talk about something. Talk yeah, well yeah it was talk about like a big event big that event. happened. That's during yes. wasn't it during COVID? No, I think it, well maybe maybe it was because ours was a. About COVID. It might have been recently. Big event recently. Well, was it group projects that he just happened to be alone on, or was it... Yeah, you were... Weren't you alone? Or were you with... No, you were... I think it was... A, you, I don't know you had the I... choice of being in a group, because it was me, Dom, Ryan, Emma. Yes. And uh, we did the yes, stages of COVID. That's what I'm saying, yes, yes, And then yes. you said, no, I'll do it. I got it by myself. And we're like, okay. What did, what did I do by myself? It was, I think the... No. Was it... No, what... I did a lot of stuff by myself, but... I liked, I don't I liked working alone. Anyway. As sh social as I am, I'm much better at working by myself a lot of the time because, like, I am very overlooked most of the time, and I'm creatively uh, intelligent. Smart. Yes. You're smart in general, though. <laughs> yeah, okay. Tell me a math equation, and then I'll two probably... Two plus two. Four. I almost said two. I <laughs> panicked. <laughs> anyway, so this guy, he goes after her, oh, no. and he picks I th the Ukraine-Russian war that was happening, like, back when it was, like, the big, big news happening. Yes. And we had... Actually, I think it was actually funny enough, Mike and Emma... Who are both Russian, and or have Russian yeah, they heritage? They had a lot to say because, well, yeah. It, he wasn't the only one. They weren't the only ones. Well, of course, you said something. I said so. It was super insensitive. Yeah, 
a the the idea was go around the idea of the project was go around and interview people about their stance on different things so we cho- we chose we ch- covid yeah we chose covid like different experiences during covid and different things and we got so many like differing things but they were all still kind of the whatever so i, I think i went to my dad my mom uh my football coach and i think maybe one other person and everyone else went to like four people and we all went okay we all but anyways so he comes up and he does interviews but his first thing is that he said this is from blank blank but he mixed up the names of the real people he interviewed so it would be like mike smith and john loretta but in real life their names were john smith mike loretta like he switched the names yeah. So Those aren't real re- people, by the way, but... It, wa- it was real people he was interviewing and talking about, and he basically called them out by name, which you're not supposed to do. No. We didn't. We, you weren't supposed to say who you interviewed. It was supposed to be 100% anonymous. So you, he went and he talked about the Ukraine, and he had differing opinions, and then he got to one that was very anti-Russian. And I think half of his presentation was on that, was like very yeah very and it was against the russians very aggressive and we're like dude what is happening and you know we didn't really talk politics we didn't ever talk politics in that class and we were never you know you it was always if you have a differing opinion i respect that opinion and that's okay yeah. it was always a respectful environment and then it got to that and we're like dude we can't even respect what you're trying we, we to had say. to we had to like like we cut them off yeah, a lot of people did. We, they, he didn't even get to finish his presentation, I don't think, because he. a lot of people got really frustrated and was like, well, it's insensitive. You're being terrible. Like, I'm Russian, and these are, like, those. some of those people are my family. Some of these people are people I know, and not every, but every single one is bad. And he's like, I know that there's a lot going on, and I don't agree with what's going on, but it's not fair to yeah. me to be calling out just specifically like russians and just specifically whatever and saying like this and that whatever but it it was such a so i said something about like i'm not even russian and i found that offensive then the fact that you have spent the majority of your it seems like that is the only thing you've rehearsed this entire time because it actually no he was reading off a script no that no, well, except was for the that, only one he wasn't reading off a script. Th- for the most part, he was he had a script in his hand and he was reading off the script, and then, and then he got to that part and he, he was put the script aside and he started talking. And we're like, I, I said something like, "That's I know that seems like that's the only thing you've actually practiced. The fact that you had to have red lights on there and the fact that you're complete confident. You had a complete confidence change, or something like that." is appalling i don't remember exactly what it was two years ago almost three years ago uh, just over two years but it, it was like dude i just remember not being able to watch it anymore no i think it was like and not many people wanted to speak but when we did it was like and you could see like when they, when he was stopped he had such this proud look on him until until someone said what the f- like well, really you, i think you were the either the first or second person to say anything no oh, i think emma and mike went first because they were like no emma went after you oh maybe then i wasn't because mike was mike was really probably, vocal about it which is fair and i love mike which, but that's a completely fair reason like it's not his fault but grouping all of them together is all the russian people together because of one person it, it was just uh what it was really messed and then afterwards it was the end of the class so we all got up and we're like oh my god sav your performances and none of them none of us went to him because none of us were happy with him because it was well it was just me and him i think that day yeah i think it was like two presentations a day yeah and it was me and him and i went actually and yours was great yours might have been with the the paper you threw in the air. Oh, yes. Yours was great, though. You're right. So, basically, my, my presentation was on magic. Very opposite to that. <laughs> um, it was supposed to be, like, 
about a girl who like basically falls in love and like it feels like magic that's the only thing like she's like super miserable and whatever but then she falls in love now everyone say it together Aww. <laughs> and then I, I still have the script somewhere but i have the video on my drive i, I have not too. deleted it i do too but it was like you went from something so sweet and so like cutesy and flowers to i was wearing a cute little red dress too it was great <laughs> to literal like f this group of people and you're like actually i think he said he no he did it he he did say it. yeah he did say the word yes and it was like what huh sorry did i hear i remember looking i think to mike and mike looked at, and i looked at dom and i kind of looked i'm like anyone else having the same reaction as i am like yeah, but it was yeah it, everybody's stance almost everybody got so tense and everybody kind of you could feel the yeah you could feel the tension like grow as he kept talking and you're like it was messed I'm trying to think of where we are anyways <laughs> trying to think of like how to, how to it was it was really tense really bad nobody ended up saying good job to him I don't need, I think he might have failed that one too yeah well cause Mr. Braun love you Mr. Braun you're the goat he's the goat he he didn't even agree with it no. I remember no he he's like you need to change that stance I think he even told us when we were doing cause how it would work it would you present and you would get feedback from the audience the, mm. the audience that you're presenting to like you're performing to is still okay we gotta get dinner right after this um but it so you okay you know you could have been a little louder here you could have like little nitpicks but that are easy fixes i think that didn't he say something like okay try to he said try to be less insensitive because he said he like it was insensitive and that was after we talked too. after we talked because he would let us speak first before it, yeah. if, if he had something that we said or something he was thinking about that he we, basically we had were to say thinking. that like like read the room you you have to understand that like there are certain people including your classmates who are from that type of people like who are russian and who are from that heritage exactly and like obviously like people who speak it at home people this and that and you're basically part of that those people who yeah who were just full of hatred and it, it was you could feel it from from both parties you could feel like the upset coming from like us and then you they, could feel like almost the the hate radiating off of him you could feel it and like the smiles and the the and way the, there's a he spoke and there's a difference between playing a character i've played in drama a character where we bullied her right funny enough great but there that's that's a character you yeah he bullies me in real life but like he he loves me there's a difference <laughs> i might push her over a couple times just cuz she falls funny but the, <laughs> anyway but there's playing a character and there's living the character Yes. I could play the Joker. Doesn't mean I'm going to be the Joker. I could play Iron Man. Doesn't mean I'm going to be Iron Man. Like, it's... You can, you can be a character. You can agree with your character's opinions. Doesn't mean you have to... Be your Get character. super excited about it, like how he did. Yes. So, anyway. I think maybe uh, there was more to say about it, but, like, he... I think we all kind of had the agreeing opinion upon that, though. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any school time stories, we really should just talk about school stories. That's basically what this is revolved down to. School fights and School stuff? fights. That could be the next one. Ah, uh, yes. So those. I got one, two. I don't I have know. One. I have two. Maybe I talked about the one on. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you've not already followed or subscribed, consider doing so towards the end. I don't want to say towards the end. Do you have anything you, have to, you want to say before we go? 
Thank you for joining us, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure to go check out my channel, because, you know, I'm awesome. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Subscribe. We're going to go eat tacos now and try on our shoes. All right? See ya, and enjoy your weekend Good. life Bye. job. Peace. I got to hit. I got hit stew up. Why is my mouse not mousing?